And let's jump over to our man, Teddy Kegstad. Folks, you can read Teddy's outstanding newsletter, The Tiger Forex Report. He puts out new issues every Monday and updates throughout the week when warranted. You can check that out under the newsletter tab at TFNN. It's only $97. Comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. You can't go wrong there. And uh, if you're interested in some of the webinars, I just talked about Tiger Dollars, folks. Get some Tiger Dollars if you're thinking about purchasing anything. You're saving 20, 30, 40% on what you're spending. Teddy's got a couple great archive webinars over there talking about capitalizing on time with calendar stock option spreads and Japanese candlestick patterns, stock and option strategies with our man Teddy Kegstad. Both of those under the services tab at TFNN. Maybe you got a little bit of time over the holidays. You check out some of those webinars, but let's just jump right into it. Teddy Kegstad, we got an interesting morning nonetheless, uh, as usual, I should say. Good morning. Good morning. Boy, so we got ADP numbers this morning, Teddy. We got the yield approaching almost a 4% handle. Uh, what do you think of some of the market action, man? Yeah, the yield market, without a doubt, is probably the topic of conversation. Like, talk about pressing the trend higher, you know. Ooh. So, without a doubt, the short terms, you know, 10-year to 30-year, <clears throat> it's a pretty very it's a very steep slope that they've been trending over the past you know month and a half and especially the last couple of weeks. So and uh, the dollar has obviously been influenced by that for sure with its put retraction. So but we've hit some key support you know and uh, resistance in the FX markets for sure. So right now I know everyone's already calling for you know them to start cutting rates with the Fed and stuff like that. I would be very, very careful with that. I know we have an election year and stuff like that. I mean, maybe the bottom's in, but we, there's still some numbers that we really need to look out for. And I would, we have a Fed meeting coming up yet next week, so we'll see. We will see. That's for sure, man. Uh, and the moves just mammoth, as you mentioned, man. It's pretty remarkable. We had a five handle, and just like that, we might be to a three handle before we know it, man. Four point one five percent. Can't help but talk about that. Uh, can we talk about crude? Got to talk about crude. Why? Why not jump there, man? We're pushing seventy dollars, seventy ninety eight. I got on the price tag of crude right now, down from ninety five bucks, man. Uh, what do you mm -hmm. think of the action in crude? I'll tell you what, I'm stunned that, you know, we had a uh, potential head and shoulders bottom forming, forming in crude up until uh, yesterday. So, and we took out the critical swing low, which was, would have been the other shoulder of the, uh, you know, reverse head and shoulders. So today's okay. move, especially down to 70 bucks. Considering what OPEC did, you know, a little over a week ago when they said they're cutting uh, at least a million barrels across the board in production, that surprised, I mean, I know a million barrels a day isn't that much across the board in the OPEC countries, but it still is a start and something that could be a trend with them. And that's what surprises me the most is that oil is going down so much. The one thing, the only thing I can really attribute it to is the fact that we have a supply, a supply build in this country. And as that's continues if that trend you know that means demand is lessening and i can honestly say like you know i live in chicago land and if there's two things we only have two seasons and that is winter and construction and traffic really you know oh, i mean that's really it because we have construction everywhere's always traffic jams and you know what getting around is especially rush hours they're not lasting like they used to i mean we have I mean, it's bad but you know what i'm saying like i'm not sure. seeing the driving lane especially now all the kids are back in school they have all these sports and activities especially coming in front of the holidays typically it's really really bad you know especially even around malls and stuff like that so people are driving less and that might be part of the reason why we're getting the build so if demand is going down that's the only th reason i can see it going like it is because i just it's it's surprising to me that we're hitting this you know below 70 dollar mark it's an interesting um Conversation. I, 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 anecdotally, of course, but I'm, I'm seeing the same thing in my own life now. Of course, you know, people mm -hmm. not working as much. You're working from home. Uh, sure. But we were in Tampa. I think it was Monday afternoon. I left Tampa around four o'clock, Teddy, and I'm driving back to Lakeland, which is a good thirty miles or so. And there's a bunch of people that live kind of east of Tampa, right? You go a little bit towards the center of the state. Uh, you mm -hmm. get away from the big city, just like any big city, right? You got more. Um, you know, more land, right? Cheaper land, all that stuff. So you get a lot of traffic on I-4, especially out here. And man, I was flying. There was no traffic at all coming out of Tampa Monday at four o'clock. Monday is usually kind of the busiest day, maybe Thursday, Friday. People are working from home mm -hmm. if they can. And then I go back to Black Friday um, or Cyber Monday. No, it was Black Friday because it wasn't Cyber Monday. Nobody's at the stores on Cyber Monday. But I'm out there 
and there's plenty of spots. And I'm saying before I leave the house, I said, what are we doing going to the mall to hang out on Black Friday, right? We really right. didn't have to do shopping, you know, but we're off. We were closed at TFNN. Um, they got restaurants, you know. I said, all right, let's go walk around with the kids. You know, they got a Christmas sure. tree. It's an outdoor type mall area. You know, so we'll walk around with the kids, see the Christmas trees. Parking spots everywhere, man. Now that, you know, everyone's shopping online, but it kind of speaks right. to a little bit of a change. Sure. That was not the case. Not on that one day, man, Black Friday, for right. spots to be everywhere. And then, um, so yeah, we got some changes sure. for sure. Now, you know what How, it could also be, and what real, real quick, is it could be the cost to carry over effect. With rates that they've pulled back so much over the past month and a half, that could be influencing a lot of the oil market. You got to remember because there's a cost of carryover, there's an interest rate on a lot of the movement of crude oil. So that adjustment by just even a half a percent or so is a big deal. So that it influences the cost. But it, I don't think it's enough to really dictate the the new lows like we're making. But yeah, for that's a another possible crude, fundamental. Right? But I. I that's a great point for sure. Hey, what do you think about dollar yen? I mean, we got gold okay. with some serious volatility, man, to say the least. Um, sure. Maybe some, what do you think about the dollar yen and maybe any takes on gold as well? Right. Well, you know what? As long as uh, yields are retracting, and, uh, you know, the dollar, if you look at the dollar index, most of the markets that are really trending against it severely are like a lot of the lesser ones, like the Aussie, the New Zealand, even the Canada. If you look at the euro, it's not really moving that much, you know, like yeah. that's not the biggest weight of it. So that's what's, you know, everyone's jumping on, oh, the dollar's getting weak and yields. Be careful. It's, I still am saying we are, we are not, we have not confirmed any turns and trends. All we're doing is we're, we're pressing a corrective mode right now, you know, so, and it's, it's not that I'm grasping that this the, the overall trend has to come back. That's not it. What I'm saying at all. But the fundamentals don't dictate, and the technicals do not dictate that we have any confirmation of any real change in trend. Which means it, you can get caught really quickly in that kind of a situation where you start to hit this false sense of security, being like, "Oh, the dollar is going to be weak. It's an election year. It's time to start getting short the dollar." I love it when people start getting that way, you know, because that's where I make my my biggest moves, you know. So I'm actually hoping nice. on that. <laughs> so. Nice, right? Sure. And what do you think about gold at these price levels, man? You got to take on gold, but you, you talk about some volatility on the I, spike I, I Sunday like night. Gold. We make all. Sorry, like one more gold. time. I he said I like all gold, right? right. I like and until you until you see yields go up. If yields go up. And, and all of a sudden you get one more rate hike where they actually can press back to where they at least trying to test the monthly lows, maybe not take out the bottom. And that will be when I see a turn in the market coming. I think you could see gold still rally a little bit more yet, no matter nice. what, and have a nice trend next year. And as we wrap it up, we got about 30 seconds here. Teddy, what do you, any, anything expected from Fed decision next week? Uh, yeah, I think they're going to really lay on the economic number scenario. We'll see what unemployment does this week. If unemployment comes out, especially um, unexpectedly lower, you know, I would still say, you know, even though the, the, res uh, the one reserve chairman said that one more rate hike is not off the table yet. So we'll watch what they say about those numbers. Boy, I can't wait to see what would happen in this market if we actually get more hikes, let alone cuts coming in. I appreciate the takes as always, man. I appreciate your time as always, Teddy. We look forward to talking to you next week, man. Thanks, Tommy. Take care. Thanks so much. Folks, we'll be right back to finish up the show. Don't go away.